Welcome back, Commander. Welcome back to XCOM, everyone, where we are playing it as a role-playing game. Or XCOM 2, rather. Sorry about that. And we had a very exciting thing about to happen. Uh, Dr. Valen has, uh communicated with us. I guess it's this making contact thing. Uh, so, uh, there are a few of these things that um, happen, and so I kind of lose track sometimes of which is which, but uh, anyway, train or was it triangulate position? Uh, position? Anyway, it's several of these different uh, things that are uh, going on that are going to be kind of exciting, but in particular, I'm particularly excited about uh, Dr. Valen, because I just found her to be uh, fascinating as a character. So, Anyway, she's, she was in XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. I just find that interesting. Let me just take a, a quick look around here. I can't remember. It's been a few days. Uh, what I might need. Um, let's see. I think that... Because we really don't have a lot at the moment. So I think for the most part we're good. Let's look at Hello, Commander. Real quick. See if there was anything I was needing to do. Uh, build items. Do I need to build anything right now? We don't have a lot. None of us, yeah. None of us are never crazy about because it, it takes away a slot. Okay, yep, we're ready to go. All right. I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time, we're actually a threat to the aliens, and they know it. Now we just have to make all those people in the colonies remember what we're fighting for. My father didn't die so we could become a race of cowering test subjects for the aliens to toy with. We just have to get the people's attention. Okay, all right, I gotta get moving. We gotta find Dr. Valen so we can do all that. Aha! Alright, let's do this and then move on, because it's like... All, triangulated position is on the way to making contact, and it's, uh, it only has three days left to it, so... Avenger plotting new course. Oh, where are the Avengers? Where's Iron Man? The Avatar Project. Alright. Oh, I see. I can click the Dark Events thing. Alright, um... <laughs> Cleared. All right, let's view that room. All right. Oh yeah, proving ground. That was the one that she wanted to build the most because then she could build a lot of cool things. Power relay, advanced warfare center. All right. Proving commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Oh, it's an unstaffed engineer who can assist in building the proving ground. Uh, would you like to sign the mirror? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll have to make. Yeah, here we go. Then we're gonna have to make, uh, power place next. Um, do we have any other, okay, content, oh, two of three, uh, I'm trying to remember where our con, uh, 12 of 12, okay, so we're gonna have to build that. Can we clear the alien debris? We'll attack to school. Excavate, we just have no engineers. Okay, I wasn't sure if we had any engineers available here. I need to turn the volume down on my phone as you can hear it. All right, so let's uh, let's move on then. I want to look at my time too, because I I realize you know I my the, I kind of go long on these games, so I need to make them a little bit shorter. Uh, all right. Attack enemy. Oh, okay, cool. He has a new ability. Cool. Training completed. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I put him into the training. All right. Well, so he has the slash ability. He is now a ranger. And I'm thinking what we should do is is try to make him uh, look a certain way here. Um, I want to customize this guy now that he is a ranger. Ah, here we go. Personal combat sims. PCS focus. Select personal combat sims. Well, it only has... Once PCS is installed, it can uh, it can be replaced but not reused. Are you sure you want to install? Sure. Focus. I don't know what it does really, but why why not? You know, uh, I, actually, it's kind of cool to have a ranger all in green like this. So why don't we do this? Uh, customize. Let's make him. Let's go all the way with that. Let's make him wood, Mr. Woodsman. Weapon color. Yeah. There we go. And let's make, uh, oh, props, yeah, that's it. The weapon pattern, 
Let's give that. Yeah, the classic. I'm, I'm making him definitely doing the whole classic. He is a ranger guy. Actually, I wonder if I can do. Um, let's see. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's gonna be the ranger, like hidden in the woods, he should probably do this sort of a thing. Trying to find something like green. This would be probably pretty good, like a chrysalid. He's disguised like the enemy. Maybe they won't notice. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of cool. All right, that's cool. He's like the uh, hidden ranger. You know what? Actually, I think there's a secondary weapon color, and we'll probably get this as well. Secondary, uh, let's see, main armor. Pro oh no, it's still in props. That's right. Okay, sorry, folks. Button pattern, face paint, legs, upper face prop. Well, oh, that was the weapon pattern. Oh, weapon color. Okay, so yeah, it's just one weapon color. Alrighty, let's get uh, let's get a move on then here. Let's find Doctor Vallen. All right. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. All right. Outlaw Radio. The Avenger serves our purposes adequately in terms of coordinating our uh, communication network, but if we hope to increase our range and reach every uh, possible outlet, we will have, uh, have to do more. A series of carefully positioned relay towers would suffice, assuming we can miniaturize the technology we've adapted from the aliens' own communications equipment. It may be difficult to balance the requisite power levels versus the increased chances of detection, but this is our best chance to expand our, uh, on our capabilities. All right. Modular weapons. We definitely want some better weapons. Advent Trooper Autopsy, Sector Autopsy, Faceless Autopsy, Advent Stun Launch. Okay, we'll want to do this eventually, but we want new weapons. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Well, yeah, we want to kill more aliens. Commander, based on my research in collaboration with Shen, I believe we can reduce the intel cost of contacting additional regions by building radio relay towers along our network. The further a region is from a relay, the more it will cost us in intel. So I would suggest building relays along the remote edges of our existing network. I believe the resistance will be grateful for the construction of these relays. They may reward us in kind. Okay. So, let's see. That's scanning sites, disabled truck, Africa, triangular in position. Okay, those are the different missions. How do we build? Relays, toggle resistance network, power at capacity, yeah, power resist. Oh, no, yeah, okay, here, I realize that, but it says toggle resistance network. Okay, don't have that, but, uh, let's see, maybe that was in our engineering. Commander? Build facilities. Uh, I can't even clear that out, so never mind about that. Well, that's something I guess I'll just have to figure out as we go along. I'm sure that, that that's going to be somewhere in there. I'll probably do that off camera just because I don't want to keep you always all waiting. We have not uh, finished scanning it. Oh, cancel. We don't want to move anywhere. Let's keep looking for Dr. Vaughn for freaking sake. I am sure you will find the results uh. to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Assign new research. All right. Keep stopping us from other thing from the thing I'm wanting, but this is good that we've had this. All right. We've had the troops digging through uh, scrap piles and looting corpses. At this point, it's safe to assume they're on constant vigil for anything we could use to improve our gear. All the raw materials in the world won't mean much if I can't uh, find the use for them. But I think this modular weapon system is a good start. All right. Having pushed, the troops will like that. Okay. Uh, commander research in the advent modular weapons has allowed us to reverse engineer the system for our, new, for our new use. Any weapon upgrades found in the field can now be attached directly to our soldiers' weapons to provide tactical bonus. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, so we'll be able to put them on our own. All right, magnetic weapons, ooh, yeah. I know these are important. Oh, we definitely want plated armor, so we're going to have to get some alien alloys. But I want stuff to kill I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. All right, can we Without access to refined fossil fuels, 
Oh, I interrupted him. Oh well. Here, just one. Let's see if he had something important to say. You gonna talk? No. Nope. Never mind. All right then. Let's go. One day. There are a number of unusual energy signatures permeating this area, Commander. I'm seeing power fluctuations, intense heat, some psionic activity, all signs of a possible conflict. We should move quickly. Commander, you and I both know what Valen meant to our operation. She was our chief scientist, one of our most valuable assets. With your permission, I'd like to lead this operation personally. I was able to get you out of Advent's clutches. Maybe I can do the same for her. Oh, all right, it's this guy's mission. That's cool, then. Let's do it. Listen up, people. I'll be personally taking the lead on this operation. We're looking for someone. One of the finest minds to ever serve XCOM. I don't know what we're going up against, but we know she's out there. And we're not going to let anything stand in our way. Commander, I would strongly advise you have our forces equip the specialized weapons we recovered from the field. Their unique capabilities may prove invaluable on this mission. Good point, Doctor. Let's gear up. All right. And you know what? I just realized I made two of them this, this bright green, but... Uh, let's see what other weapons we got. Cannot edit. Okay. We only have that. Ooh, Hunter's Axe. Oh, I like that. Maybe a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. You know what? I'm gonna change his color a little bit. I want to edit him just slightly because he—I notice he looks so much like her. Oh, it's not letting me do that right now. Oh, oh, wait—is that? Oh, that's the main guy, isn't it? That's Bradford. Oh, okay. They, no wonder he looks. <laughs> All right, can't change him. And I just gave him the big axe. Well, yeah, that's true. He is gonna be like the big, uh, you know, badass of this one. Mission options available. Commander off. Mission options are now available. Only. Alright. Weapon upgrade. Available slot. Ooh, cool. Scope. Better scope. Probably be better sh shots. Hair trigger. Oh, when firing, the soldier has a 5% chance that the shot will not cost an action for that. Oh, that's cool. Increases aim. But I want to, you know, my snipers I really like to be like, they're definitely going to hit. So, this upgrade is available. It can be replaced. Okay. Cool. Weapon name. You know, in role-playing games in the past, uh, if you were about to die, we used to say, you better go see what's on TV. So you know what? Call it, call it, go see what's, see what's on, oh, what's on TV. You know what, I need to take that off, this is incorrect grammar, but what's on TV, confirm. All right, weapon color, weapon pattern, that's cool, equipped to her. Awesome. Let's see, let's uh, edit this guy. Weapon upgrade. Oh, you can just have the uh, that thing, all right, so that's fine. Weapon name. Mulder, his name is Mulder, so this, one's, this weapon's name is Scully. Confirm. All right. Oh, that's Just cool. how fast do you think this unit is? Oh, that's cool. You know, 
I... Uh, Long range movement. This is the way he was already when they made him. I think when I create new ones, I'll do that. Brown confirmed. We will give him the, um... Let's see, props. Legs, torso, armor pattern. Oh, yeah, here we go. Zebra, stripes wild. Shimog. I, man, there's a lot of this different, these different options on him. Uh, oh, we give him hearts. Oh, Sparky has hearts. But you know what? Some what goes with Sparky? Oh, I like that lion pattern. But you know what? He is supposed to be like digital. So let's do digital for now. Uh, weapon pattern. Let's give him. Oh, let's do that with the hearts. All right. Man, he looks about as tacky as he can possibly look. All right. And you know what? We should give him the weapon color. Like the rest of it. There we go. Because he's just heartfelt. You know what? That is just... That actually does look really ugly. Uh, we don't want him to look that ugly. Yeah, let's do this step. Be digital all the way around. Alrighty, cool. He is ready to go and kick some butt. Uh, alright. I think we're about ready. Let's go and do this thing. Wait, build items. Make armor available. Wait, wait make weapons available. Okay, alright. I think we're ready. Ready to go. Commander's mission. Squad green to deploy. I am continually monitoring the energy signatures we detected near the target site. Possible subterranean activity detected. Strong interference blanketing the area. Sensors are unable to penetrate the rock face. We still have a steady read on Balin's signal, however. I would advise extreme caution, Central. Yeah, and I was gonna reconsider who I sent on the mission, but I really liked this mixture, actually. You got a sniper, you got a, uh, a technician guy, you got heavy, you got your big robot. Biological readings in this area are erratic, in addition to several species of alien Hold fauna. up, Doctor. We've got something. The data must be preserved at all costs. You must hurry. Take this and find Bradford. It's her. Unfortunately, our friend never made it to the evac point. I had hoped to meet my predecessor under less extreme circumstances. Still, I have tracked her signal to an area not far ahead. Good. Lead the way, Doctor. Okay. Position is obscured. Alright, who's gonna scout? John Brett. Oh no, we're not gonna scout with him. Not with the sniper up. Yeah, Mulder? Yeah, I guess Mulder's gonna scout. Ooh, where is... Man. In order to get down... Oh, wait, do we have to go around? Okay, we can jump down. But that's considered running. See, I can take, like, two steps forward. Alright, you know what? I'll, I'll put the sniper forward. This was... Yeah, Jericho Connor. Heading out. We've got a lot of skulls down here. Human skulls. Someone's been decorating this place. Okay, she'll get on pistol of what? Alright. Take a book. Heavy up forward. Alright, it's nothing. We'll go to support. Oh, whoops. Oh, shoot. I meant that to be the robot. Uh, okay, well, he'll go up. Just, he'll go up to here. That way he can be on Overwatch and protect them. Scanners at maximum. Oh, that's cool. Reaper. Who has a Reaper ability? Was that a devastating chain melee attack? Vipers. Why did it have to be vipers? Yeah. Though I share your reservations about this species, there's something different about these creatures. They appear almost underdeveloped, 
Perhaps an earlier stage of growth, or some sort of precursor organism. Just as long as they're not bulletproof. I like this. All right, so we got the uh, throw throw an axe. So you can you throw the axe and Reaper. Uh, each melee kill in Reaper mode grants an extra action, but further melee attacks reduce damage. That's cool. All right, well he's going to get on to Overwatch. So he's going to get some. So he's going to be like quick killer. All right, we're gonna have to get through these guys. So. Central, I have managed to restore portions of Dr. Valen's personal research logs. I will begin patching through what I can, immediately. <coughs> Testing. System dictation. This is Dr. M. Fallen. Initial entry. It has taken me longer than I care to admit, but the secondary power system is finally operational. Enough so that I can move on to more compelling work. Okay. Yeah, I know they're there, but I'm putting up my ambush too. So that I can massacre them. Confirmed. Right, so, what was it? Uh, to move to a friendly out okay, I thought it was to move a friendly unit. You know, so more than I thought it was. Alright. Sparky. Run out there to the open. Son of a Overwatch. Initiated. Attempting to salvage materials from what appeared to be a totally inert storage system, I made an astonishing discovery. A single cryostasis unit remained intact and occupied. This changes everything. Not sure I like the sound of that. The thing is, yeah, Dr. Bolland. Dr. Vallon is was ruthless in her research, and that's one that's what I just enjoy about her. She like is just like, yeah, no, uh, none of this panzing around. We just uh, we go out and we just don't take uh, anything else into account. We just take into account what we need. Okay. Moving. Everybody up. embryos recovered from the surviving cryostasis unit, I now have a rare opportunity, one never afforded to me during my time with XCOM. I am free to pursue a research directive of my own choosing. So she was like, fuck you to XCOM. You know, they seem to be turning back around. Well, you know here. Hologram. Alright. Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of Ben Men now show their true form. Oh. A purely reptilian species. Well, no reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. 
of an alien genetics facility. But the damage to these containment units being so severe, I can only imagine the work that was being done here. Was she living out here? Just what the hell were you up to, Holland? Interesting. Alright. Well, the question is no longer do we ambush, but in what way do we ambush? How do we start this? Uh, let's see, we got the grenade launcher right here. Yeah, how about we take these two out? Grenade lancé! of my work here unsettling, <laughs> I must persevere. <laughs> I have no doubt these creatures would one day reach maturity, regardless of my intentions. Left here alone, the results could have been disastrous. With my guidance, at the very least, I am preventing a potential catastrophe. Okay, I'm gonna go around this way. Yeah, it sounds like Dr. Ball. Like, you know, they're gonna, their morality's gonna get in the way, but I can I can do something uh, a little bit more unsavory uh, on my own. Scanning for targets. All right. I'll send uh, like two people over this direction. Because, but the thing is, I know they went this way, so I don't want to put too much in this direction because I know they're gonna just sort of hitting out. I'm gonna be cautious in this direction or the other direction. I'm gonna kind of fl outflank them. Moving to Overwatch. Je vais me mettre en position. These two are going around the left. Affirmative, je couvre la zone. Okay, I'll go. You don't sound like you want to. I'm on it. Alright, and our badass. I'm going. Come get some. 
I have rerouted the outgoing signal. The unit must have been damaged during whatever conflict occurred here. The complete message is coming through now. An extreme biological hazard is present throughout this area. Genetically enhanced alien species in this region are of particular concern to the civilian populace. Do not approach under any circumstances. All attempts should be made to avoid contact with these life forms. This isn't a message. It's a warning. Uh-oh. Well, Moving. a little too late for us. We kind of come over here. Sensors at maximum range. I was older. Looks like Fallen had plenty of help. Where did she find these people? Skeleton land? Via Vala. One more way. There was one other. It's not hidden somewhere. I'm not too crazy about Don't that. Covered. If you say so. And she's become kind of a wuss. If you say so. Oh no, for what? I really wanna. Making that noise. Yeah, I didn't get it. Accelerate. Given these creatures' apparent pliability when it comes to drastic changes in their genetic makeup, I believe it may be possible to reverse selected traits that the aliens themselves engineered into dormancy. I'm gonna move him forward a little bit. Sure thing. A little bit better angle, slightly better. <laughs> From a guy with those cool sunglasses. Give Biological signatures approaching your position. Readings are erratic. Difficult to pinpoint. How many signatures, Doctor? Unable to determine at this point. Failure to engage target. Heads up, people! Done alley. Extraterrestre neutralisé. Success. That's what she said. I have managed to remove the genetic blockers on the specimen's DNA, allowing the repressed traits to flourish. Well, subjects Alpha and Beta show promise. It is subject Gamma I find the most intriguing. I like their uh what do you call it? The lawn chairs they have here. I mean, can we see inside here already? Or something. Anyway, I wonder what they're using lawn chairs for. Some devious use. Alright, here, I guess we do this. Open closed door. Wait, isn't this where 
she was? This is where the arrow was, right? It's just this general area. Yeah, I think this is where she was, so, uh, alright, well, we'll go to the snake. Ew, I don't want to go to the snake. Right, let's let the snake go by. Alright, there we go. I'm out of here. Detecting any additional signatures. Understood. Let's take them out. Find Ballas. This will be Dr. Ballas' pets. <laughs> Her pets. My subjects, Alpha and Beta, both continue to exhibit exaggerated, sometimes erratic variations on their traditionally observed behaviors. Subject Gamma has grown to become something else entirely. Behind those eyes, there is an intelligence that I have not witnessed in any unaltered specimens of its kind. Sorry, Valen, I was interrupting you, but... You were kind of rattling on there. I was over. Oh, wait, she's out of ammo. Whoops. Does she have a grenade? Oh, she's got a small grenade, so alright, if, if nobody else hits, she'll throw that. Just a moment. Oh, he's sort of out of ammo, too. So he'll just do his rocket. It off. All right, and... Actually, I 
she'll just go back on to uh, Overwatch because there's nobody else threatening. Her. Overwatch. And he'll go on Overwatch this direction. Moving to Overwatch. I am picking up faint traces of human DNA deeper in the facility. It just might be. Oh no! It showed a body. No, Doctor Valen. You know, you're not. It really is unwise to send the leader out in front, but it's the kind of guy way. he is. And this is supposed to be the role-playing game, so he's he's got a gut acting character. A oh, free reload, cool. Open for business. And Overwatch. I'm covering. Plus, he's pretty much better than anybody else anyway. He's a badass. On my way. Affirmative, covering now. I just realized he threw his axe. Did I lose that axe then? Moving out. I, or I probably should have stopped him and tried to pick it up, but oh well, forgot. Sparky up here. Oh, he better reload. So I'm gonna Servo is engaged. Well, I guess I could. You know what? I shouldn't have used the rocket. I should have put him on an overdrive. Reloading weapon. And had him reload and shoot. No, oh, that was bad. That was dumb. Because I'm gonna need the rocket later on. Oh, we'll going up the body. The extent to which the elders tamper with the genetic fabric of their subordinate races knows no bounds. It occurs to me that this is the first male of the species I have ever encountered. Is this a form of population control? Or something more? Am I looking at the fate of my own species? Not if we can help it. Do tweet. It's actually central up closer. Actually, I'll put him on the side. And we're off. My eyes are peeled. Zero, Connor. I want to go, I want her in a good position where she can see a lot of stuff. So. Go, go, go! Molder and Stitch up here. Uh, it's a Will do. Good combo. Ohana means family. Central. Reading a massive drop in temperature directly ahead. Such a large discrepancy defies any natural explanation. Something tells me that won't be the worst of our problems, Doctor. Glass op opening there. All right, Sparky, go check it out. Advancing. Oh, okay, so we can jump down into there. All right, go on Overwatch while we... Overwatch mode active. Rolling out. Get Mulder up there. Solid copy. This is where she'll cover everybody from, just from this rock. And Central. On the move. Central and Mountain Time. So we should name him. I'm watching. I have made a terrible mistake. Commander, I sometimes wish you were here to keep my ambitions in check. Subject Gamma has escaped. A tremor opened, a minute fracture in the containment unit. That was all the creature needed. It shattered the metal, cracking it as if it were glass or a sheet of thin ice. Damn it, Vaughn. What did you do? Oh boy. Alright, well let's get this guy up on here so I'm we're on my way. low ground. We'll get on Overwatch up here. Set Overwatch priority. 
Je m'en occupe. We're down there. Moving out. resources at my disposal. I wonder whether I should have focused my efforts on a single subject, rather than the three over which I must now preside. Few of my staff feel comfortable in the containment facility. I myself must therefore keep a constant vigil. Still, the potential benefits far outweigh these concerns. Though the unease around Subject Gamma in particular is admittedly contagious you know i'm just expecting something to come out after us so and the person who's here actually knew her is central what is his name anyway it can't be central bradford all right i'm gonna have bradford go up there because he was actually a friend of all and everybody else is gonna go up here and like be on location confirmed lookout basically so I'm like super anxious, just want to go right up to it. I'm, I realize, no, not a good idea. Get up into defensive positions. Affirmative. Best thing to do. Spark covered. Overwatch. Put Sparky up here Spark on Overwatch. Confirmed. Setting Overwatch. Alright, now send Bradford up. Still gonna keep him cautious as he goes. I could but... use the exercise. Scanning. Fisher went off in search of the creature. Damn her relics. She found no sign of Gamma, but she did uncover a clutch of eggs. Preliminary analysis reveals them to be reptilian in nature. If Gamma is indeed reproducing. If it is somehow communicating with others of its kind, then... We are lost. Uh-oh. Moving! Alright, Bradford, get up there. Check out that body. I'm on it. Okay. Mulder and Stitch are watching. Get some. Up here, O'Connor will watch from up there. I'm on it! Sparky will watch from up here. Engaging. Overwatch. And Aaron will... And Alex will... Watch from up here. All right, we got everyone on Overwatch. Oh, come back to my turn. All right, Bradford, get up here. I'm already gone. Is that her? Can't tell. Pick something up. What do I do? Put a grenade on it. Okay, I'll just put him on Overwatch and everybody else will on Overwatch. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Optical sensors on Overwatch. All right. Did I not go in the right space? Okay, I went where I'm supposed to go. Hello. Hello, Dr. Valen. I don't see any Reaper. I could slash up the, uh, body. Do I need everybody there? I'm on the move. Huh. Maybe I need to have everybody there. I'm still gonna be cautious here. I mean, I personally just think this is a smarter idea. Scanning for targets. Alright, this is one of those times where unfortunately you have to break the fourth wall of, of story-wise. On my way! And very clearly just figure out what the game wants of me. Moving to Overwatch. Gonna move her down here. Actually, I'll move her up here. Stepping off! 
How did she get up there anyway? Oh, climbing, okay. Does that do it? Here, let's, let's put on them on Overwatch. If that still doesn't work, I'll send everybody up to the, uh... Overwatch. To the object. En vigilance. Nope. Didn't work, so, alright. I mean, normally what I would do is I'd keep everybody spread out and on Overwatch while I investigate this thing. But since the game won't let me do that, I kind of have yeah, to break please. story time here and go right into, uh... Alright, well, what what do they, what does the game need me to do to move forward? Sort of sucks. I, I want to get lost in the story, but... And then, it, you know, sometimes it'll get you in a really tough position. It's like, well, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Like in the uh, tutorial. Roger that. Is that... Fallen? Unable to tell from this distance. Life signs are being obscured by... Huh. I believe this would be Subject Gamma. Valen created a Viper King. Just what we needed. intent on making this easy. Sail base for rapid movement as it attempts to reposition itself. Central, the concentrated breath of that creature is reading at incredibly low temperatures. You are at risk of severe tissue damage if exposed. Good to know, Doctor. Yeah, especially now Central, that we've been... I am pulling all relevant log entries on this Viper King now. I saw it for a moment at the containment facility. Gamma. The creature has grown remarkably since its escape. Had the rest of the team not arrived, I am sure I would not be here now. Je suis parti. All right. Suppression on the thing. Will the reaction? Oh. Wow. Okay. That failed. Good, good to know. And now let's suppress it. She'll hold it down. Oh wow, it got to move. Alright. Moving as ordered. What kind of chance do I have to be in? Oh, ruler action before he gets a shoot. That's interesting. Oh, oh boy. It's not good. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need overdrive. Alright. Oh no. Targeting error. Okay. Imminent reload required. Really? Engagement failure. Oh boy. Primary weapon ammo extended. Oh, that's not good. Thanks, Dr. Valen. Okay, overdrive's not very good on this this thing. Our few remaining scouts report significant increases in biodensity in the area. It is clear. We are not alone. I can no longer delude myself. Gamma is clearly communicating with others of its kind. And there are the eggs. Central, Dr. Valen's conclusion would appear sound. This Viper King will continue to summon reinforcements until we can silence it permanently. You must focus your efforts. Okay. Not a problem. 
have to get rid of this guy. Ugh. Oh no. She had the med kit. Deflection! Run and drive! Oh, oh, okay, our turn again, alright. Uh, you know what, let's just slash. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's reaper it. This won't hurt a bit. Slash. Alright. Run off the armor! More damage. Rift. I cannot begin to fathom why Dr. Volin would have allowed it to have this ability. It's trying to make a break for it. Take it out before it gets away. Well, I'd kind of like it to get away. <laughs> Trajectory indicates armor deflection. Yes, we got that. Oh, okay. Damn it. We let it get away. Something tells me that's not the last we're going to see of that thing. If we get another shot, we better make it count. We might have lost the big guy, but it looks like this area is finally clear. It's... not her. No! Central, I am not detecting any additional life signs. Human? Or otherwise, the cavern is clear. Well, okay, Dr. Valen's still out there. That's awesome. Enemies killed 15 of 16. Uh, yeah, and no, no one got killed. They got wounded, but that was sort of a nail biter. That's cool. I know I didn't do that as well as I could have, but oh well. Sergeant Aaron Dimmo Alley. Dirk Stitch Molder, move furthest. Alright, well we got into the alien nest and we saw it. And we found that Dr. Valen is still out there. And I'm gonna call it after this one because I've been on for about an hour. But that was certainly an interesting one, and that's one of the expansions as well, because the original vanilla of XCOM 2 did not have this thing with uh, the chief going out with them. Sorry, with Central going out with them. Oh! Two wounded ones get promoted. Let's promote Sparky first. Rainmaker. Make it rain. Equipped with heavy weapons, deal plus two damage and have increased area of effect. Uh, attack any enemy within movement range with a powerful melee attack. Oh, that would be a good one. Uh, let's see. Heavy weapons, deal plus two damage and have increased area of effect. Oh, that would be like the missiles. But you know what? The strike I could use more often. I think I'm going to do that one. Oh, wait. I can't do it behind him. There. Here we go. Get out of the way, Sparky, so I can... Oh, 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 it's this one. Okay, okay. Adaptive aim. When overdrive is active, standard shots do not incur recoil penalties. Bulwark, gain a bonus point of armor and always provide higher cover to all adjacent. I like that, Bulwark. What? Hello? Oh, continue? Well... Bulwark, okay. Have I not done this one yet? Continue. 
it's blue, so I would think that would be the one that I could do. Or... Spark or Overdrive. I already chose an Overdrive, so okay. Bulwark. Continue. That's weird. Is it it's just me, or is that not letting me uh, push it? Alright, Demolition. Unleash a volley of bullets at your target's cover. Uh, so you're really damaging or destroying it. Deals no damage to your target or suppression. See, she already had suppression, though. Is it maybe this one? It's supposed to be any uh, direction she can uh, can shot, hit, or miss. We'll mark the target, increasing your squad's aim by a plus. Oh, that's cool. Our heavy ordnance grenade, and your grenade only slots gain a bonus use. Ooh, having more of that. You know, I usually destroy whatever I uh, have gone after, so I'm going to do heavy ordnance. And I think it's this one's at the, the, the yeah the rainmaker. I think it's the the one. So I. I want this one. Okay, yeah, I hit the question mark there. I think it's giving me a problem because I can't click on it. Here. Another way, Sparky. There we go. Alright. That was just a problem. Okay. Viper Corpse. Uh, Viper Hopped see this creature is clearly repelling in nature, although it appears to be only, uh, not only sentient, but also highly intel uh, intelligent. Still, the underlying uh, physiology is remarkably similar to a number of uh, terrestrial species, including the venom sacs, which we might be able to synthesize and incorporate for use in our medical supplies. Nice! Okay, so that would, uh, that's it for now. Looks like we got a power capacity, so we are going to need to clear that out after the proving ground is made. We need more engineers as well, but that's where we are. We have found Dr. Volan. Actually, let's move on to the next area because this is basically... Oh, Commander, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in East Africa have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. We have seven days. All right, Avengers that means we're going to fly course. over there. Oh, but we have seven days for that. We're actually going to, I think because we have four days here. Let's get over to there Setting first. course for Sector 11, West Africa. Alright. So that's where we're going to leave it for now. Uh, with uh, our power capacity, having to build up to that, having found Dr. Valen's experiment, but not her. And uh, connecting with the Resistance. Uh, we have really gotten into this uh, into this storyline. I'm excited to see where it goes. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to see more. Uh, tell your friends about it if you're enjoying this. Don't tell them if you're not enjoying it. Uh, and uh, be sure to check us out on Patreon. Happy gaming, everybody. Did you like this video? Then be sure to subscribe to see more and share us with your friends. Also, if you'd like to support us financially or just give us a tip, consider a donation on Patreon. A little donation from each of our viewers helps us expand the videos, keeps the channel going, and helps us make more of them. You also get bonus videos and a big thank you from us.